Hello and welcome to Games Master Season 3, Episode 2. Uh, commentary for therewith. And uh, I forgot to mention on the commentary I did for Season 3, Episode 1, how Dexter Fletcher actually burnt the jacket of Dominic Diamond uh, at the beginning of the show. Uh, Dominic actually went on record as saying that he found that very offensive and disrespectful towards what he'd done for the show in the past. And I'd probably have to agree with Dominic there. That was quite offensive. Anyway, here we go with the inferior host, Dexter Fletcher. Bound to a soon in a second. Yep, here he comes. The uh, Cockney Mockney Tosser. It's a bit rude of me, but he is not as good as Dominic Diamond, so fuck him. Thank you. Master special sports edition. Sports edition. Oh, Jesus Christ. Stop sporting. Oh, I don't half pick them, do I? You've ever seen in your life. Last episode, it was bloody Mortal Kombat special. Now it's a sports special. Challenge. Oh, this is going to be fun. Yeah. Of sports games, leading off with James. Ah. No, okay. I, I like James Pond. That's a fun sports game. It's a bit like track and field, um, except with anima prophic, uh animals running and jumping and skipping and hopping and being whimsical. Please give a big warm welcome for our three contestants sprinting for a place in tonight's final. Shirak Shah from London. Shirak Shah? Sally Minette from Devonshire. There's no way that's a real name. Shirak Shah? I ask you. Here they come. Oh, it's little, medium and large. Look at them in order of height there. Play a lot of computer games, mate? Yeah, I've got you, an Amiga at home. You have? What's yeah. your favourite game? James Bond. James <laughs> yeah, whatever. You just say that because you're playing it on the show. Someone's greased your palms there with a bit of money to say that James Bond is your favourite game ever. How do you fancy your chances, Sally? Your awful haircut. <laughs> well, there you go. No. Awful haircut, sir. Biggest of the lot. Well, I don't want to get involved in no domestics, but these two things are going to do it all for me. All oh, right, he's doing... Yeah. Shireg, you're up first, so if you want to go to the console, you can watch him over there. Good stuff. Go on, Shireg. With me in the commentary box this week is Jim Douglas of Games Master Magazine. Hi, Dexter. How are you doing? Very well. Good. So, um, James... Who? Of what? Games Master Magazine? Well, hmm. Who are ya? Who are ya? Who are ya? The trick is to keep a nice steady rhythm and don't peak too soon. Keep a nice steady rhythm and don't peak too soon. Let's find out if she Pretty sure that's not just advice for video games, but advice for sexual activity. Here he goes, a little frog. Come on, you frog. That's the real trick. You've got to keep... Jump, skip, jump, skip. Pretty fast, isn't it? Jump. Clearly played the game before. Skip! Yeah, he's going for it. Yeah, I like this game. Um, uh, I was more a fan of the sequel to this, James Pond 2 Robocod, that was a more traditional platformer. This is more of a track and field type of thing. Still a good game. I used to rent it a lot from uh, Blockbuster. If you remember them, Blockbuster. Jesus Christ. They went out of business, thanks to Netflix. Not that I mind too much, because I used to sell a lot of my games and uh, movies to Blockbuster. And they used to give me about £1 per game and 20 pence per movie. Absolute rip-off merchants. Fuck you, Blockbuster! You will deserve to fail. Still qualify. Well, she's got 26 exactly. She? She? Oh, she? <laughs> Sorry, I genuinely thought that was a bloke. Um, I'm very sorry. Sorry to you, lady, um, but you do look like the kid off Third Rock from the Sun. I'm sorry, I'm, I, I hope she's not watching this. I'm sure she's got a much nicer haircut these days. 
It was the 90s, it was a time of terrible haircuts. Well, so is these days, 2015. The popular haircut these days seems to be shaved at the sides, growing long on top. It looks bloody awful, and you know those same people are going to look at photographs of themselves back in 2015 and go, what was I thinking? Well, I'm telling you now, what were you thinking? It looks fucking awful. Sort your hair out, you bunch of fucking muppets. Oh, okay. Yay! Yay! Um, at the end of the day, I proved that steroids, steroids just isn't the answer, Ben Johnson. Uh, yeah, it's good. He's on steroids? Or oh, a young Arnold Schwarzenegger there. 26 seconds. Did you think it was a bit of a dodgy time? Yeah, but I told you I'd stuff them. I nearly stuffed him, but it just weren't good enough. Okay, Darren. Mm. Sorry, lady, for thinking you were a bloke. Well, you know it is. Me and Linford are like that, but when I get to see... Oh, look at him with, the, him with his earring there. I've got an earring much like that, and I really wish I was not so lazy that I could get rid of it. Apparently, I've got it in the gay ear. Apparently, this is a thing. If you have an earring in a certain ear, it means you're gay, and I've got it in that ear. I did not know this when I had the earring put in, uh, but I'm too lazy, lazy to remove it. Uh, what can you do? It's Big Burly Man coming out of the pits of hell to to drag a kid away to be reenact a scene from Hostile. See you again later. Hostel, the Eli Roth. Hmm, yeah, all right, but torture porn film. Well, now it's time to see what's racing ahead and what's lagging behind. In the oh, cool. I like the reviews. Bring them on. Bring them on, I say. At long last. Oh, Street Fighter 2. If you watch my last commentary, you'll know I'm pissed off and sick of seeing Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter 2 and Jazz Ricknell. Piss off, Street Fighter 2, Mortal Kombat and Jazz Ricknell. Do something different. I'm sick of you guys. I suppose I've got to find a few little niggly points to pick at. The sound, well, it's a bit tinny and you're looking at a good 60, 65 pounds. Yeah, a bit tinny, like some of the cheap headphones I bought over the years. Everything else is there. All the characters, all the turbo moves, everything. This is a brilliant conversion. What percent? 92. Yeah, it's a pretty good... 59.99. Do you remember? I remember that back when I was a kid. Cartridges for the Mega Drive or Snares would cost around about the £60 range. Disgraceful. Space Ace. But a really bad version of Space Ace. That's not Space Ace. Where's the Don Bluth animation? I like the proper versions of Dragon Slayer and Space Ace. They're quite fun. This is just a crappy little knockoff. Cashing, on, cashing in on the name of Space Ace, I think. 70%. Yeah, more like 7%. Ooh. The cat's fallen into an Garfield Labyrinth. Is David Bowie in this game? Nice character, but is the game up to scratch? Oh, up to scratch. Because cats scratch, and that's a pun. Uh, Dominic Diamond would have done a much better job on making a joke there, I feel. Bit of a sad license zone. Anybody Dave Perry. Oh. How's that bandana working for you, Dave Perry? I'd imagine Dave Perry will be in old people's home one of these days, still wearing his bandana and still harping on about how he was done wrong in the Christmas uh, quiz special of Games Master. He's not bitter at all. Now we have something very special indeed. The first round of our Gladiator Supreme Challenge. The game is... Clay Fighter. Oh. Our two challenges. Mm. Uh, as far as I remember, not a great game, but I kind of like the claymation vibe that it has going on. Goo is the first. And then... I believe they actually built the character models out of clay and then um, snap pictures of them to animate them. Which is quite kind of cool. I quite like that. 
Anyway, the winner of tonight's bout will be back in our grand final in a fortnight's time. So it's all to play for. Let's welcome the first of our two gladiators battling for a place in our Clay Fighters Championship. Please give a big hand for six foot four, 19 stone of sheer muscle shadow and gladiator. Oh, yes. The gladiators. Uh, I'm not sure if people remember these. Uh, they were a thing back on in the 90s on Channel 3, ITV, I believe. Gladiators. Uh, actually, America has its own version of that. So probably anyone who's watching this, i.e. no one, because no one watches these videos, probably knows what I'm talking about. They used to hit each other with uh, enlarged ear cleaners, earbuds. Elvis Presley. Oh, blue suede goo. Blue suede goo, that's it. Lots of hairstyle that's he's right, got. Yeah? Right. Okay. Um... Jesus, look at the size of that fella. I wouldn't like to meet him down a dark alley at night. <laughs> so, if you want to see Falcon and Shadow mashing it up on Clay Fighters, stay tuned. Yeah, I will stay tuned. I don't know if I particularly want to see that, but all right. Sponsored by McDonald's. Terrible company. Jesus! See, we've got Gladiators, Shadow and Falcon battling out on Clay Fighters. In the culture box for me tonight, I've got Steve Carthy, a familiar face to... It's not Steve, it's your co-host Jesus. Clay Fighters, it's a bit like Street Fighter... Jesus H. Christ. ...similar game, but yeah. much funnier in comparison, side splitting in more ways than one. Right, so what's some of the strengths and weaknesses to watch out for in these Well, Helga is a very, very strong character, but she's not particularly fast. Right. While in comparison, Blue Suede Goo is... He's a Blue Suede Goo. <laughs> some of those moves. Watch for the quick. Okay, so it's the... So that's Jesus's advice there. Um, I'm surprised he didn't also give some advice to not eat meat on a Sunday and to hate gay people. Because Jesus is a homophobe. Yeah, and that's a musical note. He gets very crotchety in his old age. He does get a bit like that. That was just head back. It's Helga, the um, stereotypical opera singer. And what's his name? I've forgotten it already, but the Jesus. Uh, Jesus, I'm thinking. I've got Jesus on the brain. Uh, the Elvis sort of looking guy there. Okay, being a bit cagey now, standing off each other. Yeah, they're taking their time. They're size yeah, not a great game. Even though she looks very excited to be playing it. Too excited. I do question whether she's been taking too many of the old steroids prior to playing. It's got the old uh, whoop, bang, wallop, uh, captions like the old Batman cars, uh, anim uh, live action. Cartoon animated, no, live action series with Adam West. Very strong character, very strong indeed. Got a lot of weight behind her, I think. Is that uh, I, think she gets I quite like the little timer at the bottom. It's like a bomb ticking down. It's quite a nice touch. Got the, are either of them actually looking at the screen? No, don't kiss him. Try watching what you're doing. That's right, we're getting it anyway. That's kind of. 101 when it comes to video games. Actually watch the screen. Don't kiss your opponent and mindlessly tap the buttons. Even though I am a button masher myself. I don't kiss my opponent because, well, I don't have a opponent to kiss. <laughs> I would depress myself. Uh, uh, you're being kind to I'm being a bit kind. I'm actually using yeah, lots of good. special moves there. Was that intentional? Or? No, I was just going for it, actually. Just like playing with all the buttons and pressing lots the of buttons. Button button. yeah. yeah, that's my tactic too. Just mash the buttons, hope for the best. Sometimes you can actually win just by mashing buttons. Which isn't fair, but I'm not going to complain about it because I like it when I win, even though I don't deserve to. I like it when things go my way. Seriously overshadowed there in the Celeb Challenge. She's just the sort of star who could do with a few... Dexter Fletcher, you're shit at this programme. Fuck off. Oh, it's a consultation run. Game Master. I can't get a girlfriend. Games Master. And here I am again, open to offers. Games Master, I've heard there's an underwater secret bonus level on Tiny Tunes for the Mega Drive. Can this be true? Well, normally... No, it's not. Fuck off. Gossip. But this time, it just so happens to be true. On I, I actually remember this game. Uh, one of my friends had it when I was a kid. 
I kind of enjoyed it. I used to play this uh, quite a lot. Tunnel at the right. Instead, it's a nice little platformer. It looks like a solid wall. You will now find yourself. Oh, the secret of the secret area revealed. Now you can die a happy person that you found this meaningless secret area. On the gunship two fires and on the Amiga, I keep getting killed by the enemy missiles. Can you please help me? Oh, I say. When you're in the same area as the missile attack, hide... Oh, it's a simulator. ...and select your air-to-ground missile. I've played a few simulator games in my time. Probably my favourite is one of the simulator fantasies, Wing Commander. I don't know if anyone listening to this has played Wing Commander, but they're good games. Uh, Wing Commander 3 and 4 had Mark Hamill and John Rhys Davis and Malcolm McDowell. It was uh, one of the better FMV titles, which may not be saying much, but it was a good game. I like, I like those games. Ah, Another World. Great game. Or uh, Out of This World, as it's called in America. I believe. You'll be faced with a grenade. I've never completed the game though. I've got like the 25th anniversary edition with the HD graphics. I can only get to about around the halfway point. It's a very difficult game. Uh, however, I'm a huge fan of Flashback, the sort of spiritual successor to Another World. Um, I would recommend avoiding the remake of flashback though that that was kind of pants it was a buggy mess after that very extensive solution i need a break see you all later bye few pathetic players put firmly back on their feet there by the games master in the consultation zone now if you can you stop looking down the barrel of the camera there lent over it's a bit disturbing <laughs> mr fletcher dexter 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 Oh, there's a lady. Lady. See, I'm I'm clear to make that point now. She's not a man. Joystick waggling line. I'm. I feel very bad about saying that. There's no way she's listening to this though. So it's all good. You intimidate at all, buddy. And if you are, I I do apologise. First round, but all I can. Profusely. Solo to Napoleon when you see him. <laughs> well, there you go. That's good stuff. Well, as this is our sports special, we've got something rather fantastic for you for our last challenge. Oh, promises, promises. Rather fantastic, it better be. Exactly what it is. Games one. Dangerous game! To round off this special show, I have a real ace up my sleeve. The game is International <gasps> Tennis Open. Uh, this is the big thing. This is what I'm supposed to be excited about. Uh, tennis game? Really? Well, Dexter Fletcher and Mr. Games Master, I am not impressed. And you have joystick waggling. Very dull. A sports game. Sports games are, tend to be quite dull. You know, I think uh, the only tennis game I like is Smash Court Tennis, which was a Namco game that had uh, sort of cartoony visuals and a whole humorous bend on the whole tennis thing. Best of three. We're going to see if Sally. Well, that admits me, I do quite like playing a bit of competitive. Uh, multiplayer golf games, they're quite fun, PGA Tour and the likes. But yeah, tennis, kind of dull. Like, oh well. I suppose it's better than just endless Mortal Kombat. Just about. Only just. Not really. Actually, no, it's just as bad for fuck's sakes. I'm around, but this is by far the best looking. We've got a very exciting challenge lined up. Best of three games, beautiful graphics, and an English and an American challenger. It's going to be great. It's England versus America. Oh, let's find out if they're ready. Are you ready, you two? Yeah. Good stuff. Neither wins. Um, the only way to win is not to play, um, I'm paraphrasing, war games. Ah, all right, all right, just about all right film from the... Well, cross, but right um, as you're serving the ball, yeah. that'll show where it's going to land, and obviously you want to get it in a tricky place. Look at that animation at the top. Here it comes. He's cutting them very close to the bottom of that line. He really oh. wants to be careful. Oh, so this is interesting. There's a ball being hit back and forth, back and forth. Rocket it past Oh, no, yeah, that's He's right, straight ready. in the centre there. This is going to... It's fascinating. Straight to the net, it's too much power and not enough accuracy. Okay, got to be careful about that. And oh, again, double fault. Double fault. 
So, how am I supposed to come up with commentary for this? Like, um, look at the court. That's some nice green colours there. Keep. Um, I think we want to get. I maybe have a bit of a volley game. Yeah, coming that'd off. be nice. Let's hang it oh. back a bit. Sally sliced that one, didn't quite make yeah, it. Now Sally's going to lose her service game. That's one of these days I'll actually watch an episode of Games Master that I do a commentary for that I'll actually enjoy and will actually have something to commentate upon. <sighs> right, here the we go. Up. Let it fly. Oh, fly. Let it fly. Let it fly. Let it fly. Here it goes. Good serve. Fine rally. Now, so, um, what's the scores? I don't know. She can ace him now. Go on, Sally. Ace him. Rip it right. Go on, Sally. Fuck him up the arse. Good Returned good right start. to the baseline again. Oh, oh but he was missed it. So, it's Sally. First game. Game. Sally, yeah. First game to Sally. Fine tennis there. She's, uh, she's got to finish this soon because she's got to get back to third rock from the sun. Shirek serving. Shirek must Oh, I'm being mean. I should stop that. Apologies, Sally. I'm, uh, absolute... Bastard. The graphics really are quite amazing yeah, on this game, aren't fantastic. they? Absolutely fantastic. All digitised from real players. It really does look pretty special. It does look spectacular. Good return. Oh, no. Good return. What, even... uh, what is it they eat at tennis matches? Strawberries and cream? I think I need to go and eat some strawberries and creams rather than watching this. Cause... <sighs> this is boring. 40 love? <laughs> That's ridiculous. There goes the ball. Yeah, any time you want to finish this would be good. I don't know why the producers of this show thought this would be an interesting thing to watch. Much like I don't know why I think me recording commentary to this would be an interesting to, thing to listen to. Look, it's all boring. I know that, and they should know that. Nice Back sweeping shot, oh, but he couldn't it. quite get across the court. Thirty love, Sally's yeah, Sally doing ahead. very, very well. Shurek, thirty love there. down. This garnered quite a few viewers, whereas my commentaries, all just general YouTube videos, generally garner about one or, if I'm lucky, two viewers. So maybe I'm not one to talk. Game Clearly, Games Master has the winning successful formula down and I just suck. Back they come. Who won? I didn't even notice because I was that interested in what was happening with the ball getting hit back and forth. Fascinating. I've got nothing to say. Well, that's a surprise <laughs> for you. Yeah. Anyway, well done. <laughs> Sally. I told you I'd kill him and I did. Well, you did. You killed him. Sally, or Simon, as I previously thought, it's Sally. You don't win the Games Master Golden Joystick, that means Sally wins the game. Ooh, 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 Sally, Sally, Sally. Here comes the guy who's worked out at the gym, out of the pits of hell yet again. I hope his minimum wage is worth it. She's a happy chappy. Or not chappy. Happy lady. I'll leave you with the words of tennis supremo Andre Agassi. Always keep your eye on your balls. Oh, oh, that was almost worthy of Dominic Diamond there. Always keep your eye on your balls. Uh, sexual innuendo. So, uh, thank you for listening. And goodbye, Games Master, once again. And goodbye, Credits, once again. And the helicopter will pop up in a moment and we'll say goodbye to that. Wait for it in three, two, one. Oh, here it comes. Goodbye, helicopter. Goodbye, whirly bird. Goodbye, traveling over the seas. The seas of dodgy commentaries. Ba ba da da. Game over.